Here I have a sketch in X Design that doesn't have any dimensions added. This sketch is intended to create a mount for a vertical rod, which would be revolved around this left edge to make the 3D geometry. Some of these sketch entities have relations that were added as the sketch was created, but I want to use some additional relations to clean things up and make sure the right design intent is in place. First, I want to make sure all of the vertical and horizontal lines are set. Notice when I click this line on the left, the vertical relation icon appears next to the line. Similarly, this horizontal line has the relation icon showing when I click on it. I want this shorter line segment here to be vertical. Whenever you want to add a relation to sketch entities, you first want to select all the sketch entities on screen, which brings up a context toolbar with the available relations that can be applied. For this one, I'll select vertical, and for this line here, I'll select Horizontal. I quickly want to mention that you can see the sketch constraints existing in the sketch simply by clicking on a sketch element. So if I click on this line, the icon appears on screen, letting me know which constraint type has been applied. If needed, this constraint can be deleted either by selecting it graphically and pressing Delete, or by clearing it in the context toolbar. The next relation I want to add is to make this top corner of the thin rectangle coincident with the top corner of the outer sketch profile. As you saw, the relation can be chosen once the sketch segments are selected. To choose multiple sketch segments, hold the control key, click on both corner points, and the coincident relation is available. This snaps the corners of the rectangle into place and makes them overlapping no matter the size. Now I want to make the bottom edge of the thin rectangle collinear with this horizontal line. I'll hold the control key and select both of them. Then choose the collinear option in the context menu. And now these lines will remain collinear with one another no matter where they're positioned. This vertical rod mount will be created using a revolve feature, and this thin rectangle will create the cutout where the rod fits into place. The design intent of this part is to make sure the cutout is half the diameter of the top face. This means that this point on the rectangle needs to be set as the midpoint along the top edge. To add this relation, I'll hold the control key Select the point and the top edge and click on the midpoint relation icon. A key aspect of creating revolved features is making sure the surface geometry is smooth and doesn't have awkward edges. This means I need to make sure that this arc is tangent on both sides with the vertical and horizontal lines. I'll add the first tangent relation by selecting the arc and the vertical line and choosing Tangent. I'll make sure to select the arc again and the horizontal line and select Tangent once more. Let's say I want to add a construction line that shows that these two lines are in fact collinear. I can easily draw a line connecting them and then switch it to construction geometry by selecting the construction line icon. This can be enabled for any segment in a sketch. This sketch doesn't actually need any circles included in the sketch, but I briefly want to show you the concentric sketch relation. I'll quickly draw a circle, and if needed, I could make it concentric with this arc by selecting them both using the control key and choosing this concentric option in the context menu. As I mentioned, I don't need this circle in the sketch, so I'll click on it and press Delete. From here, I could add dimensions to fully define the sketch and make sure the geometry is set. And then I could create the revolved geometry, which I'll quickly step through.
and the 3D geometry is created from the sketch and its relations.